this right here is just retracting up and we used an easy block to support the trailer while it was parked in storage all the way up and we'll get our chains on now. All right, so here we go. One's on. And because of the shape of the hooks, we have to use the uh, the um, outer. There you go. The outer edge of the hook. So they're they're really not dragging. And this here, we have a we have a uh, trailer brake controller right here that just goes in like that. Give it a nice tug. Pull back there. And this right here. Did we have another clip, honey, for this? Okay. Go like that, right? So this is for if the trailer should break free so it doesn't become a missile on the highway. And he just hooked it right here or something, right? No, you have to hook it to the, to the hit, no, to the hitch. To he the, did it over here. Oh, that's, get it okay it's on a few moments later okay here it is a very level GX 460 all hitched up with a 19 foot trailer right there me and Teresa in it and what we're gonna do now like I said is try and make it to the Mackinac City area 300 plus miles maybe 400 we'll see how far the one tank of gas gets us and we have a private campground so we're just going to back up the trailer to get those wheel chocks out and then we're going to hit the road we are also using gxt walkie talkies so when either myself or teresa are behind the trailer can give directions all right guys uh we've driven about 170 miles I've seen 10.1 to 10 miles to the gallon towing that camper at 65 miles an hour. We did inch up to 68 miles an hour and we got 9.6 miles to the gallon. So I don't think it's gonna make it to Mackinac City on just above a quarter tank of gas right now. In terms of towing though, it is a bit more comfortable seat wise than the 4Runner. Obviously the, the Lex has got better seats. I'm not disappointed. I had hoped for at least 11 or 12 but we have a big trailer that's 4,465 pounds, loaded up truck, and I've got Teresa and Piper. It's been really nice. I just lock in cruise control like I do when I tow with our 4Runner, and I started at 62 and crept it up to 65, and then went to 68, 67. I found 67 miles an hour was better than 68. I took it back down to 67. The motor didn't seem to work or scream as hard you get to 68 with this heavy load and i just noted a difference between 67 and 68. Uh, we're on our way up to um, the mackinac city area by the mackinac bridge you can tell behind me that with the weight distribution hitch that you know it's pretty level there's a little bit of a pickup at, at the rear of the trailer but it's not bad we've been in the right two lanes i'm not disappointed with the performance of the lexus towing this trailer loaded up i'm glad that we can continue to share that experience with you i am going to get back in the lexus and finish our drive we're going to have one more gas stop like i said it's 68 9.6 miles to the gallon it's 65, 10.1 miles to the gallon. 67 is the sweet spot. The other thing I want to mention is, you know these guys with their big diesel pickup trucks and they blow black smoke? We had three of them. We're in the right lane doing 65, uh, almost wreck us to pass us. And one guy even went and drove on the shoulder. And when they, when they go to make that pass, they blow the black smoke. You can flip a switch and blow black smoke. It just made me wish I was a cop again. One was really bad, could have wrecked us for good. If you got to drive like that, and cut off a camper being towed, you're a real SLB in my book. Anyway, I'm back, so we're gonna finish our drive and you can see back there the Lexus. 
in the trailer. Here we go. More moments later. What I'm talking about here is with the weight dis distribution hitch right here, things are pretty level. And what I'm talking about here, it's very slight in the back. The back's a tiny bit high, but overall, the weight distribution hitch has been really good. Just enjoying the day. Two hours later. We got to our campsite, Mill Creek campsite, a private campground. I'll do a quick spin around like this and Rockwood GeoPro plastered with bugs. And my uh, previous film clip when I talked about gas mileage, we actually arrived here at 14.9 miles to the gallon. I had referenced the wrong calculations. Pulling a 44, 4,485 pound trailer with us and everything loaded, we got 14.9 miles to the gallon. And as you guys know, we've got a K&N air filter here in the um, GX460. So for towing, I can tell you right now, the brakes aren't that great. You got to do a lot of coasting if you know you're getting if you know you're going to get off at an exit. The brakes on the GX460 just aren't up to par for towing, in my opinion. They work and they're fine, but if you have a GX460, you'll want to upgrade your disc brakes and get better pads. That's that's my input right now. This is fine, we made it here. In terms of comfort and everything, it was fine. But you know, the owner's manual says uh, do 65. That's what we did. Once or twice, we got up to 67. I wouldn't go much faster than that. I'm here with Piper and Teresa. So for towing this much, uh, I think is borderline for the GX460. If I could recommend anything, it would be a lighter trailer. This one maxes the truck out. So those are my thoughts on towing with a 2022 Lexus GX460. Also having a brake controller, Bluetooth brake controller, I think would make a difference too, where it applies the brakes for you to prevent trailer sway. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this episode. Great to have you here and spend your valuable time with us. We'll see you next episode. Thank you so very much. The next morning. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. We, we just woke up, but we're saying hello from the Mills Creek Campground at Mackinac in Michigan. Good morning, people. Hello, people. Hello, champ. 72 hours later. Thanks for watching this episode. In summary, the Lexus uh, towed very well. The trailer was 4,500 pounds and had the weight of me, Teresa, and our stuff. So we were probably close to 5,400 pounds towing, maybe 55. And uh, overall, we got 14.9 to 15 miles to the gallon, towing at between 65 and 67 miles an hour. Now we do have a K&N air filter in the truck and I think that helped and made a difference. Uh, guys, really appreciate everyone who spends their valuable time with our channel, helping us grow. Uh, it means more, more to us than you know, and I just say thank you from the heart for me, Ter Teresa and Piper. Thank you for watching this episode, and until next episode, remember to be good to each other, and from all of us at On Down the Road Productions, thank you so much.